This is a video demonstration of our DDR LT32 channel. I'm going to be showing you what it comes inside the box and some of the features of the unit. Uh, inside the box, of course, you will find the accessory box. Within the accessory box, you will find the user's manual and a video instructional or instructional videos, and uh, also a remote control for you to uh, control the, the DVR. You have the power cable. You will have extra SATA cables for you to put uh, up to eight hard drives inside, up to two terabyte uh, hard drives inside. It has the brackets for you to mount it on the rack mount. If you order it with no CD burner or DVD burner, you will, you will see the brackets for you to mount it as well. It will come with a uh, p with 12 ports. It, this DVR is capable of doing uh, 16 audio inputs, so you can record up to 16 uh, cameras with audio. And then the rest of them are attached to the motherboard, so 4 on the motherboard and 12 on the p -tail. You have the SATA, the, I'm sorry, the uh, RJ45 cable or the Ethernet cable. An HDMI cable for you to put it on your TV or on your monitor with HDMI. And you will see an optical mouse, an optical USB mouse for you to access the GUI interface. If you see this uh, DVR has similar uh, from panel like our NPRs and our LT16 uh, channel EVRs you will see the two USB up front you can put your mouse or you can put an extra uh, hard drive for you to do backups or you can attach a flash drive for you to uh, back up your footage the indicator lights up front the CD or the DVD burner bay right here you press this button and this will open up all the extra buttons here for you to access the GUI interface. We recommend to use the, U the USB mouse, it's actually easier. The jog for you to uh, change the layout of the, of the cameras on the video. Also the power button right here. And this is the back of the unit. This unit is capable of recording uh, 30 frames per second on all of the 32 channels. So you have real time on all of the 32 channels. Here in the back you will see the 32 video inputs all the way in the top and the bottom. There's no loop outs but you can still uh, make in a uh, loop out of a particular uh, video or video input by putting a T. So you will put one T right here and then one cable will go to your monitor where you wanted to put that you wanted to loop that particular uh, video or that particular camera and the other one would go to the camera. Also you will see the four audio inputs plus the pigtail that I showed you before. So you have a total of 16 audio inputs for recording. You have audio out, mic in and mic out. You will have your uh, term green terminals for your uh, alarm inputs. And the RJ45, you have to take this off for you to see the, actually the RS485 for you to put the uh, PDC camera. Also, you will see the RJ45 connection for the Ethernet, RS-232, HDMI, two extra USB for you to put an extra hard drive if you need to for backups, a VGA connection, and also you can put, it also has an eSATA. So here you can put an eSATA hard drive and use it as a, uh, to extend your storage capability. So uh, this unit is very powerful. Is exactly the same, you know, it has the same amount of ports as a regular EL32, but this unit records at 30 frames per second on all of the channels, and it also is a dual core, and also has eight SATA ports internal, so you can put a, uh, up to eight two terabytes or eight three terabytes in storage for you uh, to record plenty of storage right there. Uh, this unit is very powerful, uh, it has the same features, and even more than uh, our regular LTs and um, you can still access it from Internet Explorer or Chrome or Mozilla and uh, also PSS, we have PSS for it to uh, connect to from any computer or a Mac computer or a Windows computer and I hope you like it. I hope this has been informative for you.
and I would like to thank you for viewing.